ever wondered how the majestic and terrifying volcanoes form? This awe-inspiring spectacle begins deep beneath the Earth's crust, in a chamber filled with a molten concoction of minerals, gases and water known as magma. As more magma pushes up from below, the pressure within this chamber intensifies. Just like a soda can that's shaken, the pressure needs a release. This is where the vent comes into play, a natural pressure release valve. It's through this vent that the magma, now called lava, bursts forth onto the Earth's surface. Now imagine this process repeating over and over with each eruption layering the Earth's surface with more lava and ash. Over time these layers build up, creating the distinctive cone shape we associate with volcanoes. It's a slow, powerful process born of the Earth's fiery heart. So that's how a volcano is born, but not all volcanoes are the same. Did you know there are different types of volcanoes? Each one has a unique structure, eruption style, and associated hazards. First up, we have shield volcanoes, named for their broad shield-like shape. These volcanoes, like Mauna Loa in Hawaii, are built from fluid lava flows that create gentle sloping sides. Next, we have stratovolcanoes, or composite volcanoes. These are characterized by steep conical shapes formed from layers of ash and lava. A famous example is Mount St. Helens, which erupted dramatically in 1980. Lastly, we have cindercone volcanoes. These are built from ejected volcanic debris, creating steep, cone-like structures. They're often smaller than other types, but just as fascinating. Paracutin in Mexico is a prime example, having grown from a farmer's field to a towering peak in just nine years. Each type of volcano has its own unique characteristics and dangers, from the slow, creeping threat of lava flows to the sudden, explosive release of ash and gas. Volcanoes are as diverse as they are captivating. What's inside a volcano? Let's delve deeper. A volcano is a complex structure with its lifeblood being magma. This molten rock, rich in minerals, gases and water, resides beneath the Earth's crust, gathering in a magma chamber. When the pressure becomes too great, the magma seeks an escape route, and the volcano springs to life. The magma's escape route is known as the vent, a conduit that stretches from the magma chamber to the Earth's surface. It's through this vent that the volcanic material, including lava, ash and gases, is expelled during an eruption. At the summit of a volcano, you'll often find a crater. This depression is typically formed by the collapse of the volcanic structure, or by explosive eruptions. In essence, a volcano is a pressure valve for the Earth's inner heat and pressure, with magma being the key, the vent acting as the door, and the crater serving as the exit point. A volcano's anatomy is fascinating, isn't it? But what happens when it erupts? Imagine the ground shaking beneath you and suddenly a mountain explodes. What just happened? That's right, a volcanic eruption. These geological events can be either effusive, where the magma gently flows out as lava, or explosive, where a violent outburst of ash clouds and pyroclastic flows takes place. The hazards associated with eruptions vary. Lava flows can cause widespread destruction of vegetation and structures. Imagine a river of molten rock incinerating everything in its path. Then we have ash clouds, which not only disrupt air travel, but also impact visibility and pose health risks. Picture a darkened sky filled with tiny particles that can affect your lungs. And let's not forget pyroclastic flows. These fast-moving currents of hot gas, ash and rock are extremely destructive and can wipe out entire towns in seconds. Volcanic eruptions can be devastating, but did you know we live in a world ringed by them? Living on the ring of fire, how do we keep tabs on these sleeping giants? Well, scientists employ a variety of techniques to monitor and predict volcanic activity. They use seismometers, devices that measure ground movements caused by seismic waves. These waves are often the first sign of an impending eruption, as magma movement under the Earth stirs things up. Alongside seismometers, gas monitoring is crucial. Volcanoes release gases like sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, so an increase in these emissions can signal that an eruption is on the horizon. Monitoring and prediction aren't just about playing a high-stakes game of guess the eruption, though. They're essential tools in the fight to mitigate potential hazards 
and protect communities living in the shadow of these geological giants. By understanding and anticipating volcanic activity, we can prepare for and respond to eruptions more effectively. With modern technology, we're learning to live with these powerful forces of nature.